Okay, in this question, KC is applying a force, T, to help his friend, okay, that's 54 kilograms, in a wheelchair, the wheelchair is an addition of 13 kilograms, to move up a ramp of length 12 meters, and a vertical height of 1.6 meters, at a constant velocity. Ignoring friction, what is the work done by the force applied by KC? Sorry for that spelling error there. Okay, so let's see if we have, there is our ramp. Okay, the ramp is making an angle. No, we don't know the angle. What we do know is the length of the ramp is 12 meters. And we also know that the height of the ramp is 1.6 meters. Okay, what else do we know? Well, we know that um, Casey is pushing the wheelchair and we have a wheelchair and his friend sitting in this wheelchair okay they're going up this wheelchair and he is pushing him at a constant velocity okay so velocity initial velocity is equal to the final velocity constant velocity up this ramp and um, what else do we have? Okay, we have that the wheelchair is 13 kilograms and that his friend sitting in the wheelchair is 54 kilograms. So in total, he is pushing up a, a mass of 54 plus 13, that makes it 67 kilograms is the total of the mass he is pushing up this ramp. Let's see what are the questions that they ask us. The first question, calculate the angle of the slope with the horizontal. Okay, so we are supposed to calculate the angle here and that's not really a physics question, that's a math question. That's a clear grade 10 math question, not too difficult because we want theta, we have our opposite and we have our hypotenuse which means that we want to be working with sine sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. We know the opposite is 1.6. We know our hypotenuse is 12, which means if we take 1.6 divided by 12, we get divided by 12, we get 0 0.1333. I'm not going to round it, okay? Okay, repetitively, and now how do I calculate theta? Not too difficult, I just use the inverse of sine. So I'm going to use inverse function for sine, that's sine to the power of negative one. Okay, not really to the power of, but that's how we write it. And then we get 7.66 degrees. Okay, so it's roughly 7,66 degrees. Okay, what's the next question? Calculate the magnitude of the force applied to the wheelchair by Casey. Okay, so what is the force that he is applying to the wheelchair in order to get it up there? Okay, that question might throw you off a bit, but it's not that difficult. Okay, if we just go back to what we did before an object on an incline. So let's do an object on an incline that has in this case got four, three forces acting on it and these three forces must be in equilibrium because he's traveling at a constant velocity there's no acceleration okay now what that means hopefully you recall that the weight has two components okay it has a component that is down the slope and it has a component that is perpendicular to the slope okay perpendicular and a component that is parallel to the slope. Now this one that is perpendicular is cancelled by the normal force of the surface and this one that is parallel would be cancelled by the force applied by KC to push his friend up the slope. So that is what we are trying to calculate. We want the weight that is parallel to the slope. Hmm, I can't really remember, so let's go calculate it. The weight that is down, okay, the perpendicular force and the parallel force. Okay, that's that's closer to the truth. So here's my weight, there's my opposite, and this is the 
weight that is parallel to the surface. That's the one I want. I have the hypotenuse, okay, and since I'm using opposite, that is sine. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which ends up giving me the formula weight times sine of theta. Okay, so the weight here, remember, is mass times gravity times sine of theta, which in this case, the mass we calculated at 67, 67 kilograms. Gravity is always a lovely 9.8, and sine we calculated at 7.66 degrees. Okay, so let's go calculate that force. That's 67 times 9.8 times 7.66, okay, sine, what do we get? 87.52, okay, 87,52 newtons. That's how much force he's applying to push his friend up this incline. In other words, that is the value for T. Let's go further. What is the work done by Casey? Okay, so now that we know the applied force that is applying, so if we draw our sketch, we know that he's applying a force, T, and he's also, the force he's applying T is in the same direction as his friend is moving. Okay, so the applied force is this 87,52 and the direction he's moving in is in the same direction okay and the distance is 12 meters it's up that incline so all we have to do is that the work applied is equal to the force T times the displacement okay times cos of the angle between them, but this time, okay, that's a, a different theta, don't get confused with that theta and this theta, it's not the same one, this theta is the uh, angle between the force and the displacement, this time it's zero, they're in the same direction, so we just keep it as zero, that's 87,52 times 12 times cos of theta, which is zero, sorry, zero, which gives me an answer of 87.52 times 12 times 0 cos, 0 cos is always 1, okay, so I could have left it out, is equal to 1050,24 joules. I got it right, okay, 1050.24 joules. Let's answer the last question. Calculate the potential energy of Cassie's friend and the wheelchair when they are at the top of the ramp. Okay, so we've not done potential energy before, but that's okay. They give us the formula here. Okay, they say potential energy is U or EP, and the formula is simply mass times gravity times height. Okay, we've done mass 67. Okay, we know gravity is 9,8, and we know that the height in the end is this 1.6. Okay that's the height they have in the end. So, potential energy, 1.6, is equal to 67 times 9.8 times 1.6. It's equal to 1050,56. One, and it might be interesting to you for you to know that this is also in joules. Energy is also measured in joules and we'll look later at the relationship between work and energy as they are very closely related. But I also want to show you how closely related these two values are. Okay, with the exception of a few decimal places they are essentially the same. As a matter of fact this answer is closer to the right answer of the applied work um, done by Casey because the reason why the answer is a little bit different is because we did a rounding um, error, not really an error, but we had to round in this answer. If we didn't round this angle uh, to two decimal places, 
we would have gotten closer to this answer actually.